If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this episode 2 of Statistics for Performance Engineers series, today we are going to talk about outliers. As you know, outliers is a data point that differs significantly from other observations. Whenever you start analyzing your raw data, you can easily identify the outliers by scanning through your sample data. It will skew your results while analyzing. That is why all the performance testers, at least most of the performance testers, will remove the outliers so that they can get the better data to showcase to the stakeholders. But from my perspective, outliers are actually good. You should not remove the outliers unless you find the root cause of the deviation. You have to trace the request on a deep dive. Sometimes you end up in finding some issues in the code or in the configuration and you can raise the defect and we can alert the development team to look into it. So in this demo, we are going to see how you can find the outliers using some formula in the Excel spreadsheet. So in this Excel sheet, I have the run one response time in milliseconds from the row number two to row number 12. If you see the data points from row two to row 10, you can see the data is consistent. But row number 11 and 12 is significantly higher than the other data points. So this is what it makes the outlier data. And if you see the chart, the row number 2 to row number 10, everything is consistent, but row number 11 and 12 is separated from the rest of the data point. So we can easily say the row number 11 and the row number 12 is the outlier in this case. And if you see the average response time of this particular data, which is 58.73 and the 95th percentile is 176 milliseconds. The 95th percentile is way higher than the average. And usually performance testers, what they do is, if you see the outlier, they just delete or remove from the data point. Now, if you see the average is 32.67 milliseconds and the 95th percentile is 44 milliseconds. And it is almost consistent with the average and it is not way high, way low. So everything is good and everyone is happy. But I don't delete the outliers from my analysis. What I do is, if there is an outlier, first I will take that particular response time on the timestamp and then I will deep dive using the APM tools. Definitely APM tools will be able to help you out because it traces everything and then you will get the complete picture. Suppose if you don't use APM tool, you can use like agar like tools to trace your components so that you will get some full picture of your request. Using the tracing, you can easily identify which particular component is taking more time. Sometimes it could be a database or it could be some configuration issue. You may not know, but you will be able to reveal some defects due to this particular outlier. So outliers is your friend. So do not delete unless you are sure it is actual outlier or not. Since the data is here around we have 10 to 12 data points, it is easy to see where is the outlier. But if the data has say thousands of rows or millions of rows, then how do you identify the outliers? You can plot the graph or you can use some simple formula like this. So here I have created the formulas to calculate the Q1, so quartile 1 response time, quartile 3 and interquartile region formula, which is the difference between the Q3 and Q1 and lower limit and the upper limit. So this data sheet is available in the below link. Please check it out. So if you plot this, you can easily figure it out whether the particular data is outlier or not. In the column B, I have a outlier column, which, which will give you the true or false. So here, if you see the row number two to 10, which is false because it is not an outlier but row number 11 and row number 12, which is an outlier. Now, if I enter say 44 here, and it will give you the value false. But if I enter say 300, it will give you value true. So it will work if you keep on adding your custom data. So like this, you can easily figure it out whether the actual data is outlier or not. And if it is an outlier, do not delete it just a deep dive using APM tool or tracing tool so that you will reveal the potential issues in your application or your infrastructure.
so that's it guys of my side if you have any questions please let me know thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel